from the YouTube Talk Show. This is Week Up, there with Ellie Mueller, and now a man who believes that Alicia Keys' the recent idea of parodying My House by Flo Rida on CBS was a good idea. You know, but actually, come think of it, it's kind of loopy if you ask me. Ellie Cunningham Mueller! Ha! Welcome to Week Up Update. I'm Ellie Cunningham Mueller, what's on with my office? Alright, here we go. I have Scouts Park Winners on 8th Earth this event edits. We can dodge with the Steam. Smarty Jeff and I, Cop Elf and I, and Super Cop and I, but all things automobiles and things like that. Oh my goodness. Whew. We are in for a long one this evening. Alright, tonight's topic Alicia Keys. She's still making music. Recently, she said, it's true. Recently, she sang a parody of Flo Rida's My House on CBS. I'm not going to tell you the name of the show because you know how bad uh, that show is. But anyway, it was performed to get people to stay inside. Was it not even necessary? And this show has been doing that for about 11 years now. So, just, now she hates photographers a lot. She hates them. One photographer in particular manipulated her when she was only 19 years old. Yeah. The photographer asked her to take off her pants. She then told him to back off. Good for her. Both need to be taken normally. Not by, oh I don't know, uh, being manipulated. Come on now. The last thing that people need is another round of manipulation. That's the last thing that we need. Okay, and trust me, we don't want that at all. Ever. Nor do we need that. Man, am I losing it. First long intro, now this. I can remember. I'm sorry, folks, but... Let's do a top eight list with uh, Mr. Bones and MP, huh? What's the category, boys? Tonight's category, top paint Alicia Keys songs for the rest of the decade. Number eight, take it easy. Number seven, thanks for relaxing. Number six, staying home is actually brave. Number five, soap is your best friend. Number four, water works better with soap. Number three, keep watching YouTube videos. Number two, stay at home for everybody. And number one, Fly with the shadows. Just like we're going to fly with these commercials in tonight's Friday night. We'll be back after this. I'm sorry about the list. This homework is impossible! So I already did it. Answers? Well, you better run. <laughs> Stella have been shopping all over town to find carpeting to match your sofa. Folks, don't you know Empire will bring the carpeting to you? We come right out with our samples and you could have had the job done by now. Oh, we don't mind, really. Stella! Empire has first quality brand name carpeting starting at only $6.95 yard installed with padding. And we'll bring the samples to you. Stella! 588 300 Empire! Come on, call us. Oh, 
Welcome back! My, oh my! Talking about Alicia Keys is not easy. But we make up for it by talking about, well, let's talk about, oh, wait a minute, let's talk in time, whatever. Let's talk about, uh, talk in time, whatever. Let's talk about it. Long ago, man created speech. It was then that man created talking time. From there, the whole world has never been the same since. And since we all have uh, nothing much to do, let's do this. Alright, now. Alicia Keys took to a studio corner uh, in her own house to freestyle her own coronavirus themed version of the floor ride that hit my house. She did so on the late show with Stephen Colbert last week. That's right, last week. And she created the perfect anthem for the age of social distancing. Which, coincidentally enough, you know, is the age that we're going to be in for the next 20 to 30 years. But, hey, enough about that. And I'm sorry about that. Alright? You know, the lyrics say, You can't come to my house. Suddenly, two is a crowd. Only Swizz is allowed. We don't have to go out. Of course, uh, Swizz is uh, Alicia's husband. But, whatever. You know, she even joked about her knowing what Zoom is, which is that app which allows you to uh, talk to um, more than two people at a time without actually going anywhere. You know, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be the word of the decade. That's right, the word of the decade is Zoom. That's right, Zoom is the word of the decade. So, at the end of the decade, if somebody asks you, what's the word, uh, what's the best word that can be used to describe the entire decade? You would have to respond with the word, Zoom. Come on. Perfect sense. Makes perfect sense to me, huh? Doesn't it make perfect sense? Anyway, Steve and I joke, please be very careful with the clocks. Well, actually, uh, she didn't really joke, but it's coming in the lyrics. Please be careful. Please be very careful with the clock swipes. Some fools, they flush them down the pipes. We were unaware. Now even Cardi scared. How are we going to fare? No toilet paper. Alright, wow. Well, I know one thing for sure. You know, after uh, four or five times, after listening to that song four or five times, you'll probably think, well, there goes the neighborhood. Anyway. Now that's not the only Alicia Keys uh, news item that uh, has resurfaced over the past week. Listen to this, right? Alicia Keys in a new memoir talked about how a professional photographer manipulated her when she was 19 years old. When she was posing... Uh, when she was trying to uh, take photos for her album cover, right? Now, she began uh, performing at the age of 15, but in 2001, that's when everything changed, when she started, uh, when she released her debut album, Songs in, the Min in A Minor. Now, the photo shoot uh, would have happened in the lead-up, uh, the album released sometime during the year 2000. However, you know, while she was changing in, in the changing room preparing for the shoot, the photographer convinced her management team to, to leave so that they could shoot one on one. He then coerced her into posing provocatively. 
asking her to open her shirt and pull down her jeans while snapping away. It horrified her since and has remained with her in two, in 20 years since. Now, apparently, uh, let me uh, correct myself here, and I apologize for m making a joke about that in the opening remarks. Now, apparently, she uh, she did not, I uh, repeat, did not tell her to back off. Instead, what she did, what she did was, you now my spirit is screaming that something is wrong, that this feels sleazy. But my protest, large in the back of my throat, can't make their way out. I swallow my misgivings. Tuck my thumb between the denim, uh, um, between the denim, and my skin, and obey. After the shoot, she went home and cried. Wow. You see, she should have told uh, that guy to back off, but she didn't. And that's why she didn't uh, sue him. Now. When the magazine published the cover story months later, she, uh, she said that both her and her managers were shocked by the images. She added she was embarrassed and, uh, and ashamed. Wow. Just embarrassed and ashamed. Well, embarrassed that uh, she even did that, but the uh, but she should have first spoken out, you know? And I'm glad that she has learned to never let anybody rob her of her power because I'll tell you something. You know, if somebody is messing with you and that person is manipulating you to do what you, uh, what you didn't want to do, and you're going to end up with a lot of problems later on in life. That's why we have the situation that we're in now. That's why we have the Me Too movement and things like that. I am... Oy, yay. That is shocking. Now, that is completely shocking. Wow. Sometimes... Excuse me, that was a, a yawn. Anyway, hopefully that will never happen again to anybody. You know, at any rate, that's the show for tonight. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow. That's the news. I'm Alski. Bye-bye for a while.